Hello and welcome Scorpio. Welcome to your April 2023 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. You are watching Thomas's Tower readings. Please like, subscribe and share widely. It really does help the channel out. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now, if you check out my channel, you will also find that I record full moon readings every month. Um, and uh, April's full moon, also known as the pink moon, is quite an interesting one. So I um, would urge you to actually watch that video as well. Anyway, so what we do here, Scorpios, we will look at, or we will divide your reading slightly into sections, so it's a bit easier to understand. I just need a sip of coffee. Sorry. And what we will do is we will look at the overall energy for the month of April for your very sign. Before we then move uh, forward into your emotional core, see if there's love coming in, if there's healing that needs to happen, that sort of stuff. And then lastly, we will look at opportunities um, as they present themselves to you in the months of April 2023. Scorpios, are you ready? With no further ado, let's have a look at your overall energy for the months. And it's quite interesting, you have the mountain lion and the, the wolf. So first thing, First things first, the mountain lion is a big cat and therefore the first message for you is look at the vantage point, elevate yourself, see things from a higher point of view. The problem that we're having is, is that the mountain lion is also known as a puma. So you have different hats on while being the same person. So what I'm getting for you is no more hiding, right? If, if a mountain lion or a puma comes towards you, you know you better pay attention. So. It's not that, that, that you don't have any strengths, but for whatever reason, it's time for you to, to go in and, and find that strength and then lift that strength. And this is also important because your next animal here for your overall energy is the wolf. And the wolf, being one of the most prominent animals in all of, of animal communication and, and spirit animal guides, uh, is about saying this month, April 2023, Scorpios, which is the sign that has the, the strongest fight and flight, fight or flight response to everything, right? There's no, no flight response this month, at least as much as you can manage. The point is, be in your strengths, understand if people want something from you, they have to deserve you first. If you are aiming for something that you want to achieve, go for it, right? Create your own life right um so that's what i'm getting for you as the overall energy is is to understand that but the first part would be just to elevate yourself see things from a point of view where you kind of get, so where am i in the scheme of things just to get a better bearing of what it actually is that probably needs some tweaking okay so let's move forward to your emotional core see where we are at this point in time and let's have a look what we got for the sign of Scorpio. Now, like I said, you're watching Thomas's Tower readings. Please like, subscribe, and share. Anyway, with regards to your emotional core, you have the Wolverine and the Beaver. Now, interesting. The Wolverine is a depiction of understanding I might still have quite a way to go before I reach my end goal. And end goal is a very loose word because you know, having an end goal means that you're only looking at that goal and then you, you miss out a lot of other things. So it doesn't really work that well to have an end goal. The point is, the Wolverine is saying, I'm still climbing my tree, so back off. <laughs> right? So first thing they're saying to you is understanding that if too many people want a piece of you, that will be draining and that will be um, a bit, it's like, it's like you, you're being disempowered. Um, because too many people um, want your attention, right? And it's important to understand that this is about pulling the brakes and say like, okay, let's slow down here a little, right? Or you slow down here a little and leave me, meaning you, alone, okay? So that's a, a quite strong energy here. And then you have the beaver. Now the beaver is, is obviously the builder of bridges. So it is in your energy this month um, to, What's the word? To, um, to hold hands, if that makes sense, right? So, so when we're looking at opportunities, it is understanding that whatever you're looking for has to be manageable and you shouldn't do the work for five people. That's important. So if you already are in a situation where you feel like, oh, I'm not quite sure, 
um, how, how, how this works, right? So that makes sense. Um, so that's important. And then with regards to your emotional core, so they're, 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 sorry, they're, they're doing this, which means we're combining stuff. So I'm getting a bit more for the, for the opportunities, but we're combining stuff here. All right, so let's combine it then. I only work here. So with regards to your emotional core, it's understanding, right? You need to make sure that people are not draining you, but as the beaver, you're also building bridges. Now, now that they're combining this with opportunities, which, which threw me for a second, I was like, why are we talking about this? <laughs> you have the mouse as the the link between you, how you feel emotionally and what you very likely do for a living, how you progress from here when it comes to opportunities. And the mouse is saying, I'm a rodent and I'm not scared of heights, which translates into you knowing what it is you really want. But because the wolverine is still climbing, you might miss certain things. Remember they talked to you about not having an end goal? Everything here is understanding it is because you sometimes just give a lot. Um, without stopping people from taking too much, both in your love life and in what you bring to another party for who or for which you work. So even if you work for yourself, um, maybe there is a time when you kind of go, you know, I, I prepared the space. I did my work, right? I'm having another cup of tea, you know? You understand? It's, a, it's about not always being 150% present. You don't have to be, right? You just understand that... Uh, because of just your conviction, you go to work and you do your stuff. Same in the love relationships. You give what you can give, but you're not there in both worlds um, to be drained, if that makes sense, right? So, again, they're not doing this often that they're overlapping stuff, so I apologize because um, it took me a while to figure this out. Um, but then again, it is what it is. That's all I got for you, and I hope to see you next month. Like I said, you're watching Thomas's Tower Readings. Please like, subscribe, and share, and Please, please, please remember that when you subscribe, you will find that I do uh, full moon readings every month as well. You might as well want to watch this because April's uh, full moon is quite an important one. Anyway, thank you so much. See you later.